dear students yesterday we have seen the area of irregular shape we have discussed what is area of irregular shape we have also done question number 1 today we will be doing question number 2 so you need to draw a diagram in your notebook now there is a small correction students in your textbook some textbook that is old edition textbook 2018 2020 so that textbook is having cd as 16 it is given cd as 16 over here 16 is written here and in the new edition textbook it is written 16 here the correct one is this the height fd is 16 not cd so make the necessary correction if it is written in your textbook if cd is written here 16 cancel that and write here 16 okay now we shall begin the sum how you are going to solve this now you are going to find out the area of this polygon now you can see how many triangles over here 1 2 3 4 correct now in spite of taking these two separately we can take this full triangle as one that is cde and which formula we can use half into base into height you can see this is the height for this triangle also you can see a perpendicular drawn that means this is the height and you can use for right angle triangle half into base into height is the area for this triangle which you can see you cannot see any height here mentioned no perpendicular lines mentioned in such a case which formula you are going to apply you are going to apply heron's formula okay so here we are going to use area of triangle only now students for the first triangle which you can see here abe or bae this is the height which is the base is 30 this be is the base no this is the hypotenuse of the triangle bae correct this is the hypotenuse opposite of right angle this is base of that triangle but whether base is given for formula to apply we need the base but base is not given here so we are going to find out the base how are you going to find out the base of this triangle with the help of pythagoras theorem okay so let's begin now first one write down triangle bae triangle b a e is a right angled triangle so using pythagoras theorem what is the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square into height plus height square correct so which is the hypotenuse here be so write down length b e square is equal to length ab square plus length ae square be square is nothing but 30 square is equal to ab is what your 24 square plus ae square 30 square is how much it is 900 is equal to 24 square is 576 plus length a e square now what are we going to do we are going to shift 576 over here so you will get 900 minus 576 is equal to length a e square Nine hundred minus five seventy six. How much it will be? Three hundred and twenty four is equal to length A E square. So what will be therefore length A E will be how much? It is nothing but square root of three hundred and twenty four. So therefore length A E is equal to square root of three twenty four is nothing but eighteen. meters okay because all the measurement are in meter so we got ae as 18 now use the formula so area of triangle bae is equal to half into 
base into height that is nothing but half into length which is the base over there ae into length ab half into ae is nothing but 18 which we calculated ab is 24 you can cancel this 2 and 18 to 9 za 18 and you can calculate the area 9 for za 36 3 9 to za 18 19 20 21 216 and square meter we have found out the area of this that is 216 now we have to find out this using the heron's formula so in triangle write down in triangle bec let a is equal to 30 meter B is equal to twenty six meter and C is equal to twenty eight meter. So let's find the semi perimeter here. So S is equal to A plus B plus C upon two. So you are going to add thirty plus twenty six plus twenty eight upon two. When you add eight plus six fourteen one five eighty four upon two, that is nothing but forty two meters. now we can find the area so area of triangle bec is equal to square root of s s minus a s minus b s minus c which is equal to substitute the values now 42 42 minus 30 42 minus 26 42 minus 28. Okay, so what you are going to get over here? 42 into. You will get your 12 into 16 into 42 minus 28 is nothing but 14. Now you can factorize this. So we'll just check the factors over here. So first let's take. Forty-two. Find out the factors. Two twos are four. Two ones are two. Three sevens are twenty-one, and seven ones are seven. Next two. Two sixes are twelve. Two threes are six. Three ones are three. Correct. Now next sixteen. Two eights are sixteen. Two fours are eight. Two twos are four, and two ones are two. And the last one, fourteen. It's nothing but two into seven. So let's write down now. So square root of. Make little bigger square root because you need to write all these numbers. So first is forty-two. We got two into three into seven. Next, twelve. Two into two into three. Next, we have sixteen. So that is two into two into two into two, and last one fourteen is two sevens. Now take two two numbers and put a square over there. Okay, so how much you will get? Two, repeating two times two square. Three two times so three square. Seven is repeating two times seven square. Then here two square. Again two square, and again two times repeating two square. Square root of square, we just have to write the numbers two into three into seven into two into two into two. Okay. Now, just take two two terms here and multiply so that it becomes easy. Three two is a six. Seven two is a fourteen. Two two is a four. Six four is a you know twenty four into Fourteen. Okay, so how much you are going to get? You are going to get three hundred and thirty-six square meter. Okay, now that is also done. Now the next triangle we can write in triangle CDE. Okay, in this triangle CDE, you can see this is the height and this is the base. So we'll apply the formula. Half into base into height. Okay. In triangle C 
D E, which is the height there. Length F D is the height. Okay, so we can use the formula for area of triangle C D E is equal to half into base into height. So half into base is nothing but twenty eight. So first write down what is the length given. Length you can see the base given as E C. Okay, length E C into length F D. And then in the next step, write down two in half into twenty eight into sixteen. So you can cancel two and sixteen here. Two eights are sixteen, which you will get here twenty eight into eight. So that is nothing but eight eights are sixty four. Four two eight two is a sixteen, and sixteen plus six twenty two square meter. Now we have found out the area of all the three. Now we can find out the area of polygon A, B, C, D, E. Okay, that is nothing but area of triangle B A E plus area of triangle. B C E plus area of triangle C D E. Okay, so we are going to add all the areas. First one we got area of B A E is nothing but first one was two hundred and sixteen plus area of triangle B C E we got. Three hundred and thirty-six, and last area of triangle CD is nothing but two hundred and twenty-four. So when you add it together, how much you are going to get? Six plus four, ten plus six, sixteen. One, two, two plus three, five plus two, seven, and then three plus two, five plus two, seven. Seven hundred and seventy-six square meter. Okay, so this will be your final answer. Area of the plot that is the polygon A B C D E. Okay, so with this we have finished practice set fifteen point five. In the next video, I will be discussing that is the video which will be uploaded on Tuesday. I will be discussing area of circle. Okay, thank you so much everyone. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.